Hey fam, welcome back. Today I am going to cover five good questions that you can ask after your software engineering interviews that will help you stand out. If you are preparing for technical interviews, then this video is for you. Asking good questions at the end of an interview is important because that is one way that you can differentiate yourself from other candidates and demonstrate that you have a genuine interest in working at that company. From personal experience, having been on both sides of the software engineering interview as an interviewee and interviewer, and having done extensive research, I've gathered five great questions you can ask at your next software engineering interview. At the end of the video, I will provide you with an additional 15 bonus questions, so make sure to stick around. Before we start, I'd like to welcome those who are new to our channel. My name is Itzel and I am a senior software engineer at Pandora. In this channel, Dante and I share practical advice and knowledge to help you enter and thrive in the tech industry. Now, let's jump right in. At the end of every software engineering interview, you will have a couple of minutes to ask any questions that you may have. Since there are going to be multiple candidates interviewing for the same role, asking good questions can be the deciding factor between what candidate moves on to the next round of interviews or gets the job. Not having any questions signals to the interviewer that you are not interested in that company or passionate about that role. So even if you did well in your interview but you do not ask questions at the end, it will hurt your chances of moving forward. Here is what interviewers are looking for in the questions that you ask. They want to see that you are genuinely interested in working at that company. They want to make sure that they address any worries or concerns that you may have about the role and see that you have done research about the company and came prepared. Asking questions at the end of your interview is a great opportunity to impress your interviewer and make a personal connection with them. Since you will be getting a sneak peek into what their experience has been like at that company. But interviewing is a two-way street. The company wants to learn more about you to see if you would be a good fit for them, but you are also interviewing the company to see if they would be a good fit for you. Asking questions is an opportunity for you to learn what the current state of the company is, to see if the job responsibilities are interesting to you, and get a good sense of whether people like working at at that company. There are a lot of interview questions and advice out there and I think the more info the better. From personal experience and having read over 10 articles on this topic, these are the questions that I found the most valuable. When I'm interviewing, I usually have five questions prepared. Three that I want to ask and two backup questions in case the interviewer answers some of my questions throughout the interview. A good strategy to follow is to end the interview on a positive note. So I've arranged the following questions in the order that I would ask them in an interview. Question number one, what resources are there for for new engineers to get onboarded and when they have questions. This question shows the interviewer that you are proactive and really thinking about how you would ramp up if you got the role. The response should provide you with information around what tools, mentorship opportunities, and internal resources the company has for new employees to help them onboard successfully. If the interviewer mentions any of the following, it's a good sign that the company fosters a supportive environment. When engineers have questions, they'll reach out to their manager or teammates for help. Every new engineer gets assigned a mentor or buddy that helps them with onboarding. There are Slack channel documentation, internal forums, or office hours where engineers can get help with questions or issues they may be facing. Question number two, what have you learned since you joined the company? This is a great question because it gives you insight into whether people are learning and growing at that company, which is one of the key things that you should look for in any job. It also allows the interviewer to talk about any technical and soft skills that they've developed at the company, what opportunities they've had to step outside of their comfort zone, and how they've grown on a personal level. An added benefit of this question is that it gives the interviewer an opportunity to share advice, tips, and lessons with you, which can come in handy in your career. If the interviewer doesn't mention what kind of resources are available for engineers to learn new technologies, a great follow-up question to ask is, what resources do engineers have for learning new technologies at the company? This follow-up question shows that you are driven and invested in growing your skill set, which are traits of great engineers. Asking this will also inform you about the culture of the engineering organization. In their response, you will find out what learning opportunities the company or team offers, such as brown bags or lunch and learn sessions where engineers can teach others how to start using new technologies, whether employees have access to an education budget that they can use for conferences, certificates, books, or online courses, and if the company provides workshops or trainings for employees to learn new skills. If you're learning something new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Question number three, what are some areas of improvement in the team where a new engineer can have an impact? This question translates to, what are some of the current challenges that the team is facing and how can I help? 
This question shows the interviewer that you are someone who likes to take initiative, which will help you stand out from other candidates. This is one of my favorite questions because not only does it leave a memorable impression of you, it also helps you learn how you can make a great impression on the team if you join. From my experience, I have seen that there are a lot of things that engineers want to improve in the code base or in the product, but there is little time for us to work on those things. Because there are always new features that take priority, so those enhancements stay in the backlog for a long time. As a new engineer, you may have a lighter workload during your wrap up months, which you can use to make enhancements that will have an impact on the team. Question number four, what are upcoming projects that new engineers will be working on. This is a great question to learn about what work you will be doing if you join the company and what projects the company considers priority. If the projects sound interesting to you, then that's a good sign that the role is a good fit for you. This question will also give you an insight into whether new engineers have the opportunity to work on impactful projects or if they are first placed on product maintenance like bug support or addressing tech debt. Question number five, what do you like the most about working in this team? I think this is a great question to ask to learn more about the culture of the team. I like this question because it's more specific than asking what do you like about the company. You can read online about what perks the company provides and see that most people will answer by listing one of those perks, which doesn't provide you with any additional information. But by asking what the interviewer enjoys about the specific team that you will be joining, you can start to paint a picture of whether that is an environment that you'd be happy to work in. At the end of the day, interviewers want to see that you will enjoy working at that company because people who like what they do produce better work and contribute to creating a positive work environment. You should be excited about your next role, but also be aware of the realities and expectations of the job. And these five questions have helped me evaluate whether a company is a good fit for me. I would love to hear what you learned from today's video, so please let me know in the comments. If you know of any other great questions to ask at the end of interviews, please share them down below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone whom you think can benefit from it. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.